Hey everyone, welcome back to LoFi Startup. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can generate retool workflows using AI. Retool has a really cool thing where you can basically give it a prompt and it can create a backend workflow for you basically all on its own. And I have this idea that I'm working on and I wanna see if Retool can essentially just build the core backend service of this idea. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I have this idea called lazy weather. And the idea with this is I'm kind of sick of waking up every day and kind of looking at my weather app and just getting this boring like sun or like cloud, the temperature kind of view of the weather for the day. So I wanna kind of spice it up a little bit and make it this casual sentence that lets me know what the weather's like and maybe what I should be wearing that day. And I wanna get that in my email inbox and maybe eventually as an SMS or something more notification driven. But for now, I'm just wanna build this really simple concept called lazy weather for people like me who are super lazy and don't wanna check the weather, but kind of wanna know what the weather's doing in a very simple, concise way, just so I know how to plan the rest of my day. So the idea is I'm gonna have this front end which I won't build today, but essentially it will just be like an email input and then a city input. So I'm living in Cape Town at the moment. I'll enter like Cape Town and then like a subscribe button or something. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is pass this JSON to Retool and I'll store this information in a Retool DB. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a Retool workflow that grabs that information and for each user, sends them a daily weather forecast with a workflow. I'm not gonna to dive too much into building out the functionality to store data from the front end in a DB, but what I'm gonna to try to do is first see if I can get Retool to actually build the workflow that sends the daily weather forecast entirely using their generate workflow AI prompt builder thing. Let's see what Retool can do. Hopefully it kind of just works straight out the box because that'll be really cool because then one of the backend services that I need for this idea will just be done, which is really exciting. Okay, let's head over to the laptop and build this workflow. Let's see how quickly we can do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create the workflow inside of Retool. So inside Retool, you just need to head over to this workflows tab and on the top right, just click create new workflow. Okay, now within the workflow, you can head down here to this little text box and actually just generate the workflow with a prompt. Okay, so I'm gonna type out the prompt for this backend service that I need. Email me, okay, so this is the prompt. Email me the daily weather forecast. I live in Cape Town. Summarize the weather in a short, casual one-liner sentence and also suggest what I should wear for the day. So all we do is we just hit generate and Retool will go ahead and build the workflow for us. So let's see what it does. It's generating. Okay, it looks like it's making an API call to the weather API. Then it looks like it's taking the response of that API call and sticking it into the Retool AI service, which basically is another prompt using the GPT-4 model. This prompt is summarizing the response of that forecast and then what it's doing is it's taking the output of that query and shooting it into the retool email service and sending it straight to my inbox. So this is really cool. What we can see here though is with this REST query, it looks like we need an API key. So what I'm gonna quickly do is generate an API key for this weatherapi.com service and then stick it in here. And I'm actually gonna run this workflow and see what happens. Okay, so I set up a quick account with this weather API service. I'm gonna copy this API key. Don't worry, I'm gonna delete it. So don't think you can just spam my account. So I'm gonna copy this key and it looks like I need to stick it into this query param over here. Okay, API keys in the query param. Looks like everything is good to go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, run the workflow, see what happens, see if it does everything that I asked it to do. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Okay, so to run the workflow, all you have to do is just click run in the top right corner here. And what it will do is also bring up the logs. So if there's anything wrong with each of the blocks in the workflow, it'll tell you here. But hey, looks like everything ran successfully, which is really awesome. So start trigger went into the first API call, which ran successfully. Then the AI section to summarize the response of that API call also ran successfully. And then the email service also ran successfully. So. If I go to my email inbox, I should have a weather forecast summary. Okay, this is what landed in my inbox. I got the subject line, daily weather forecast for Cape Town. I got a nice, short, casual sentence. It's a lovely sunny day at almost 20 degrees. You might wanna wear a light jacket 
with some comfortable trousers. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I mean, Retool just built the entire backend service for the core functionality of this app idea that I had. And I guess to end it off, we should probably check if the weather is indeed sunny and a lovely 20 degrees outside. So let's take a look. And as you can see, it is indeed a lovely sunny day outside in Cape Town today. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that was fun and useful. And maybe I'll do some more videos on building out this lazy weather idea further. But I really just wanted to show you the power of retool workflows, specifically how you can use a prompt to actually just generate the workflow for you. Definitely try it out for your own projects. I'm super excited to be doing a lot more of these startup engineering hack videos where we just look at some really cool and simple ways to just get your ideas and proof of concepts built very fast and without thinking too much about it and just getting solutions to market. So if you're liking this stuff, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in some future videos. And thanks to Maddie for helping me film today. And yeah, thanks guys, chat soon. Thank you.